Let's be honest, everybody. If this product actually had a short print like a regular master set, could you imagine the backlash and anger, negativity, and the reaction of the magic world? Honestly, <coughs> I mean, think about it, everybody. Think about it, seriously. Everybody focuses on one direction, not the cute little Rudy Boy Bam, not nothing creepy and shady, but seriously, everybody focuses on just, oh my god, Rudy, they, they, you know, if they did not print so many of these things, the prices would have been so high by now, and it makes me angry that Wizards did that. I see a lot of comments on that regarding Modern Horizons, and uh, today we're going to crack some boxes, look for a gorgeous looking Miss Sarah here, look at that beautiful hair, absolutely stunning outfit and hair. I even like that eye makeup thing. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of like intimidating, but you want to keep staring at it. Anyway, so my patron Joseph M says, Rudy, let's crack some old MH1. Let's let's talk about the updates and we should have a good conversation today. I said, you know, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Big Black Snakes, pack one. Absolutely fantastic mythic there. Actually still holds uh, still holds some value today. Very nice way to start out the video, ladies and gentlemen. But I think today's conversation, I want to focus on one simple thing and that is while everybody's upset about the higher than expected print run and the fact the boxes aren't up to three four hundred by now i think we should take a different perspective and actually focus on how thankful we should be that they actually did do that by the way this snake mr snakey over here is holding five bucks kind of surprising for that card um i know comment section well if you knew how to play mujik the yu leoing rudy and you stop poking your mom you would understand i know I know. I hear you loud and clear. I appreciate the nice feedback. Very nice for our first land cycle. This is going to be a solid box. I can already tell. We're kicking off strong. So, you know, I thought about that because I was like, man, if this Modern Horizons actually was like a one-time Master Series product. Really? That's our foil rare? That's lame. And, um, like, because, you know, when Eternal, when, well, I guess Eternal Masters isn't a good example. Uh, but, like, when any of the Masters 2015, 2017 Ultimate Masters came out, you had a main restock or main print run, should I say. You got a little bit of a of leftover drip restock about a month or two later, and then that was it. There, Nobody cared, Wizards moved on, and that's it. And, you know, the box price kind of held its own. The supply was very tight. Ultra, very nice, still holding probably about five bucks. And if Modern Horizons had done the same thing, these boxes would be 350 to $400 by now. It would be absolutely in the anger and backlash. Look at that, look at that floppy shine on that Frostwalk. The anger and backlash on Modern Horizons would be unparalleled. The yelling, screaming, screeching internet of all the scholars in the lab coats would be furious that Wizards printed it, did a short print. And when, when, when that doesn't happen, and we actually get enough boxes to go around, you don't hear any praise or positivity. You just it just gets quiet. It, it kind of it becomes the no news is good news. That's kind of how we live in this 2020 era, where you only make kind of kind of conversation or threads or discussions if something dramatic or terrible or somebody did something bad and Rudy we're coming for you next I'm sure you are I'm surprised I made it this long and you know one of those things and then it gets discussed but until then it doesn't really get discussed at all and I think we should all really appreciate that Modern Horizons had a healthy print and we don't have some ridiculous situation where I can't even open any more boxes. It got short print cut off like Dominaria. And I can't do anything. We can't, you can't even buy any still. Ooh, very nice. We got our nice mythic number two for Dr. Sliver. Very cool. You know, these are things that I don't, I feel like are, aren't appreciated. Because nobody comments on, on these types of conversation on that side of the coin. Very nice. Silent clearing. We got our uh, rare land cycle number two. And we all know another thing. Come on. And by the way, can we acknowledge the fact that we know... Modern Horizons 2 is going to happen. I mean, come on. It's not going to be called Modern Horizons 2. It'll be some sort of probably Modern Horizons Revisited or Returns or Comes Back with a Vengeance or Return to Horizons. It'll be something. I mean, just the fact that even the cards at the bottom say MH1. Everybody knows there's going to be an MH2. By the way, very nice Genesis right there. A very solid box so far, Joseph. Very smooth opening. Boy, talk about just steady... Steady Eddie, ladies and gentlemen. A bunch of good three, five, eight dollar rares. You got two solid land cycles. You got two mythics. Uh, if we can hit ourselves the infamous uh, counter spell and some uh, Windows Vista action, we're going to have a really strong box again here starting off today. But I think that's really important to appreciate because it allowed everybody to open and crack at release. All the stores sold a ton of products. Everybody was happy. There was no real, uh, you know, 
angry people because he couldn't get the product. And, I mean, it was well done. And I just don't see conversations around the... Con By the way, Charm's actually been creeping up, too. It's probably 3 to $5 now. Um, I don't see conversations around that where people are saying, Wow, Modern Horizons had a good print run. It was stable and healthy. Ooh, very nice Fury there for uh, Rare Land Cycle number 3. And I just think it needs a little bit of appreciation. You know, because the only thing people focus on is, oh my god, did you see the new Double Masters, Rudy? How expensive. There she is. There she is. That's what we wanted to see. Mythic number three for Dr. Miss Sarah. Looking stunning as always. And, you know, I just, you know, everybody's angry about VIP packs and new Double Masters pricing. And, and I was like, well, can we appreciate, like, if the print run is actually done correctly? Which I think Modern Horizons was. I, I thought about it quite a bit the last couple days. And I was like, you know... I don't think Modern Horizons was overprinted or underprinted. I actually think Modern Horizons had a nice kind of stable, correct print run level. And that's very, very difficult and very, very rare in the world of collectibles. That is extraordinarily... It's a fine tightrope, and it's very difficult to walk that tightrope in this industry. It really is. I mean, then you get some cards like this that's just kind of like wah wah. But, you know, it just, I think it just, it really allowed people to let the product flow through the system, open it, enjoy it. Winds of Abandon, a couple dollars, been holding up very nice also. And I just, I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, can you imagine if everybody got their wish right at release and it immediately fell out of print? Or not out of print, but it's been out of print for a long time. But it's it, it was out of availability, let's say it that way. Because there's a difference between being reprinted. And then just having restocks still filtering through the system. And that's a lot of, that's, that's a, I should do a whole video just on those two words. Reprint versus restock. And, um, the fact, I mean, no, Modern Horizons is still, is not getting reprinted still. I don't know if that's even a rumor anymore. But at the same time, there's still a small, slow drip release of the actual product that's been in stock. So that's a little bit different. Wow, Sunbaked Pizza. Holy smokes. Four of the land cycle. Wow, come on, we only got a couple packs left here. We could really have a home run box here if we can get ourselves a nice little blue uh, counter spell and we can get ourselves some Windows Vista. This is an epic box, ladies and gentlemen. Of obviously, like, a, you know, a Renin 6 would obviously be pretty sweet, but those aren't pretty easy to get. Fallen Shapoopy! Yep, no. Anyways, I just think that's an important conversation, everybody, that's not really been discussed. And, of course, you know, conversations that are logical and sissy, sissy. Don't really, you know, don't really happen in 2020 because that makes you a bad person. But anyways, I was just like, you know, I just thought we should talk about this. I was like, you know, hey, we actually have a box opening here. And hey, uh, foil rare number two, Rudy the Bear and Aria Flame. Not a bad little red uh, enchantment there. Not too bad. Okay, double rare box foil. Not too bad. Anyways, but yeah, that's kind of, uh, ooh, ending on a sword. Okay, so we got a four mythic box. Uh, the biggest downside of the, this box one is we definitely... Uh, we didn't get ourselves the old blue Force of Negation or a Windows Vista. And that's a 40 and like a $20 rare. So that can, that really kind of hinders the home run value of that box. But still, not too bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad. Joseph, very solid start, man. But yeah, that's what I was really talking about. And I think, uh, but I, I want to comment though, uh, when the day comes that we actually have a Modern Horizons Part 2, or Return to Modern Horizons, or... Because remember, even like Conspiracy, Charm, very nice start. Remember, Conspiracy wasn't just called Conspiracy 2. It was Conspiracy 1, which was known as Conspiracy, and then it was Conspiracy Take the Crown. So I would expect something similar where there's Modern Horizons, like Modern Horizons, I don't know, uh, Return to, or Modern Horizons Destruction, or there'll be some sort of... Fallen Shapoopy again, really? There'll be some sort of wording attached to it. And the product did so well and so successful. I mean, it's going to happen. I don't think anybody believes there'll never be another Modern Horizons style set. I mean, Wizards made substantial money on it. They raised the price. Uh, Kaya, really? I didn't really want that as a full rare. Sliver. I mean, the, the Wizards made so much money on this product. Mostly because they didn't keep the price the same. Up, oh, up. Oh. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Ren and Snippy has entered the building. Joe's congratulations. Most expensive. I think it's still $50. And that's still 50 bucks for a Mythic? It's a lot. Very nice. Okay. But no, I mean, it's just they made a fortune. Because this is pretty much the same engineering and type of product as a Battle Bond or a Conspiracy. But the price is doubled. I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, that's why I'm, I'm telling you all, we're never going to see another kind of a summer set like this. 
that's going to be priced at standard booster box pricing. The day, and I've been trying to talk to everybody about that, and everybody just gets angry and hits the thumbs down, you know, 2, 3, 7, 14, pi, 3.14 craziness times. Force of Vigor, very nice. One of the more expensive ones behind the old Force of Negation. But at the same time, I mean, you know, think about that. Why should they ever lower the price or put the price back? Hey, look at this. Windows Vista coming through already. Okay, box two. Ren and Stimpy, 50 bucks. Windows Vista swinging for the $20 bill. Very solid here, everybody. Wow, this is great. Final well, Foil Little Giant and another collector. Oomph. 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 So, I just don't think they're ever going to... I think we're in an era with inflation and increased prices on new products. Uh, inflating prices across the board for all real assets and collectibles and real estate. Anything that's a, considered a real asset. In other words, a hard asset. Giggity. Hex Drinker. There we go. Is that Mythic number one? No, Mythic number two. Is that Mythic number one? Duh. You just got Ren and Stimpy. Mythic number two. Holy smokes. These are some good boxes today, everybody. Lady Luck is being very nice to my patron, Joseph. Absolutely fantastic video today. But yeah, that, that's my opinion. I don't think we ever see any reduction in prices. A corporation never goes backwards. Sesse. Corporations never are going to reverse their revenue to make it look like sales or revenue numbers are declining. That's never going to happen. So you got to keep that in mind immediately. Why is my camera being weird? Sorry about that, everybody. Try to do a little readjustment. So I, I don't think, we, I think moving forward, um, we'll never be like an $80 conspiracy box or $80 battle bond type product again, like period ever. It's just not going to happen. So I think moving forward, all of these rectangular summer set style things, we had Conspiracy 1, 2, and Battle Bond, and that was the end of the cheap summer sets, and they realized, hey, why are we selling these cheap? All right, nurtured, okay, good old, uh, very first land cycle for box two. So that's what I see happening, and I think the, uh, I hate to say it, but the vocal individuals on the internet, oh, very nice fury. Another of the, uh, rare line cycle. The vocal individuals on the internets and the tumblers and the twitters and the insties and all these fancy social medias that I don't know how to use and I don't want to be a part of, I think they will continue to be very loud and angry about the price increases, but I think at the end of the day, Wizards knows the numbers and the data. Sunbaked, wow, really? Look at these land cycle. And I don't think they're going to make a lot of adjustments based on the loud noise they hear on the internet. They're going to base their decisions straight up the same way I base my decisions, which is on the raw numbers not really by the kind of the very loud minority and i think that's very smart to do because if there's a major problem the numbers will drop magic people will truly stop buying the product and if that happens you will see wizards make an adjustment or a downshift in price and actually make changes which i think would be kind of a fascinating thing to do definitely would uh gotta admit i would like to be around to see a shift like that in the actual entire magic world band together to do that that would be very fascinating. I would love to see that unfold. But I don't think in my years on YouTube and the, the years I have left on YouTube, I just don't think we're ever going to see that. And I hate to say it, but why should they? I mean, people complained Ultimate Masters was too expensive. And it sold like crazy. Uh, every time I see this, I still think Palladium Wars, the old Goblin guy. Uh, I, why should they? I just don't... I mean, I'm sorry, but it's like people complained about the price of Ultimate Masters, the most expensive magic product ever. And then they did all the specialty Timmy boxes and Mythic editions, and, and it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, we're super pricey, this and that. Besides the problems of distribution and websites, the product was highly demanded. No people can complain all you want, but the product sells. It sells out. Same, I don't know what Secret Lair numbers are, because they're very hush-hush about it. And obviously, Mystery Boxes and Secret Lair are the two items I don't have access to. By the way, another sword of... So look at this. Look at the weird uh, look at the weird pools there. That's kind of strange. So obviously, I don't know how Secret Lair sales are going, especially with the quantity they're pushing, but I'm going to... If I had to place a bet... Oh boy, look at this pack. The guy we're not allowed to say the name of because he's banned. One of the first, I think he was the first card to be banned in Modern Horizons. And Force of Vigor. Okay. So very nice. Uh, that was a pretty solid pack there, everybody. Anyways, but I, I don't know what the numbers are, but I'm going to just take a stab in the dark that the numbers are very good. Genesis, very nice, because think about this. If the Secret Lair numbers were tanking, and they weren't selling worth a crap, and Wizards saw a downtrend that was really nasty, let me be honest with everybody, you would see a reduction of Secret Lairs, or you would see an adjustment or an uptick in value. You would see the product modified, and we don't see the product being modified. 
All we see is them continuing to pump out all kinds of craziness. And because of that, I, you know, I don't think we see any changes. And I hate to say it, ever. Until they retire the product line and create a new product line. And again, Rudy can still hope and be hopeful that one day... Hey, double tap Miss Sarah. Very nice. Everybody would love to do that, giggity. Uh, this was a really good video. This was smooth. Look at the rare land cycle. Three, five. Holy smokes. At four, at seven or eight. Seven? Wow. Seven, four, eight solid mythics. We did not get any force and negations, though. That was the worst part of the video. Both boxes, we missed the $40 rare. That sucked. Besides that, Joseph, very solid rares and mythics. Four foil rares. I mean, not bad, man. This was a nice opening. Definitely no financial loss from sealed to uh, converting to singles on this bad boy. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the conversation today. That's all I have. And again, like I said, it's, it's, it's fun to think back of the release time and the schedules of these products and to really how it was viewed at the beginning. And it reminds me now of all the messages I get and people saying, Rudy, come on, what are we doing? Are we investing in VIP masters and triple masters and quadruple chalupa, double the beef masters? And I said, you, I don't know. We don't know. You can't speculate and make an investment or an informed and do your double D due diligence on products that aren't released yet. You have, remember, I said it a million times, everybody. You cannot make a valid informed decision on any financial decision, derivative, instrument, parking, money, real estates, equity, or debt. You can't do anything until you see how the market accepts or rejects the product, which is usually release plus 90 days. So be safe out there. Hope you guys are having a great day. Relax. Enjoy your life. Take care, everybody.